What's the world with the YouTube? Y'all know what it is, man. I'm back with another video, man. Make sure I like this video up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell to get notified every time I drop a banger video, man. And today on the roster, man, we got Skimbone, G Herbo, Southside, and Funny Marco, man. So y'all know the situation that happened with Herbo, Funny Marco, and uh, Southside where they had a little interview. And a lot of people felt like G Herbo and Southside was bullying Marco, was you know what I'm saying, doing too much and was disrespecting him overboardly and I feel that too. I feel that way too. A lot of people said that uh Marco uh was cool with it and he wasn't cool with it. You know what I'm saying? He just played his role, he just let it stay professional and just kept uh kept it kept kept it professional, you know what I'm saying, man. But Skinbone had re uh replied to the uh to the whole situation and he was like basically saying that Herb, he was playing, but he did way too much with it. You know what I'm saying, man? He could tell that they was drunk, but he know that if some people come in his uh, interview drunk, he already know that he going to cut it short because he already know how the outcome would go. He said that when Herb then was uh, throwing shots at Marco, he would have threw shots at back at them. He wouldn't let them try to hold him or nothing like that. He wasn't going for none of that. And then he said... Uh, Y'all know, uh, they said Southside had broke uh, Marco $30,000 watch, and I ain't know this at first, man. I just got this video today. I'm going to put that in here for y'all, but he had broke his $30,000 watch, man. And that's wild. You know what I'm saying? You got face in it, Listen, bro. I'm giving you more respect. You deserve it. No face. You know what I'm saying? It broke. It broke. It broke. Hey, it broke. hey, shut the fuck up, dude. Oh, All right, let's get it. I'm giving you more respect than you deserve. So it's like, I'm coming. Oh, that's a piece of shit. Man, but they say he had gave him the money back and stuff like that. But I'm gonna leave y'all with this with these videos, man. Let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments below. Make sure y'all like this video or uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell and we gone, gang. Man, <laughs> that's crazy. I, I just just sat down. I just watched the interview, the whole interview. I think the whole interview, like 40 minutes, I think, 38 minutes, 40, 40 minutes around that time. <laughs> Man, that interview is you can look you can go both ways that interview. You can look at it like cause some people used to that, some people not used to that. So people that's watching that ain't used to it say like, Oh yeah, they did this, they did that, which I personally feel like they did too much, for sure. They most definitely did too much. And I only say that they did too much because they I only feel like they did too much because they was drunk. And I literally talk about it all the time. I cannot be around drunk people. Drunk people always do the most. They always do the most. Like, I don't like drunk people. So, me watching, you know, her and Southside, you know, take, drink that motherfucking bottle, drinking that liquor like water and shit. I'm like, yeah, it's time to go. I would have ended the interview. But, yeah, that is, it's, it's, it's the alcohol. Yeah. So, me personally, like, I know Herb. I've never been around Southside. That's how Herb act on a regular. Like, you just have to match that energy. So, if that nigga doing too much, you got to do too much. And then that nigga calm down. But if you ain't doing too much, then going, oh yeah, that's why he kept saying, yeah, you a goofy, because he wasn't saying nothing, but at the same time, that go toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody, like, match, he can't match that energy, because that's not the character he was playing on his interview, on his interview, he played a laid-back, nonchalant person, so that's what he was doing, so everybody was like, man, Herb, now they, they hold you, they did this, that's not his character, his, his character to do that, so that's another thing, for two, I, I have a Funny Mark on interview, me and Funny Mark on interview was hilarious, he he said some shit, I said some shit back like I was mad at his energy with the low. I wasn't over trying to overpower him. I wasn't trying to over talk him like I was cool. It was funny. We talked about Chicago. Shit. We talked about uh a lot of funny ass shit, but yes. Then they how would y'all feel if a nigga broke if a nigga broke your thirty thousand dollar Rolex? How would you feel if a nigga broke your thirty thousand dollar Rolex? For everybody that's saying, if you think the interview, you feel me? like me, I, I can, I can hang. Like them, niggas, I ain't no hoe. Like if I'm talk about, like whenever, like I say, I hang around Herb. So if that nigga talk about me, guess what I do? I talk about his ass back. I'm not finna just let the nigga just talk about me. I match people energy. Like if you finna think you finna talk about me, treat me like goofy. Your ass got, your ass got me. Now me, I comment on the shade room post. I'm like, no, nah, they playing for sure because like it's the Chicago and me to know that Herb was playing. But when I actually watched the interview. The nigga was playing. I'm not going to say he was serious. He was playing for sure, but he did too much. Like, Southside broke that $30,000 Rolex, bro. 
$30,000 Rolex. <laughs> me, I would have lost. I would have had to steal all the motherfuckers. What, what, whether, whether we professional or not. Nigga broke my Rolex. It is what it is. But Marco said they gave him the money back for it. So it's like, it's, it's people looking at it different type of ways and how people will react to it different. Me, yeah, I would have been viral. You know, her, that's my homie, but we would have been going back and forth on that interview. Like, it ain't no, I'm not going to just let you sit up here and try to hold me. Southside, I wasn't going to let you try to hold me. That's over with. We would have been going back and forth. Like, me, I was watching the interview. That's why I'm saying I'm an interview and I'm quick with my comeback. So when I was watching the interview and then he was saying, um, I think he asked Funny Marco, he like, what game you got? How you, how you pick up or whatever? And woo, woo. my first response would have been, how you got Carisha? I would have said that, right? As soon as he would have said that, would have threw him off. He would have been like, damn, what the fuck? Then I would have said, how you lost Carisha? Like, I, my, like me, if I was to do them type of interviews, my shit would go through the roof because I'm not scared to say shit. I don't give a fuck what a nigga think or how the nigga feel. I don't care what nobody say. I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say. I'm from Chicago. That's ain't nothing. That's how, that, them two niggas. This is just reminding me of two of my drunk ass uncles. They drunk. They just talking about people. They laughing. Uh, Herb can't sit still. 